This is Evan Abrams for Premium Beat, and as soon as this thing stops loading, I'll be able to do a tutorial about, uh, okay, there it goes. So anyway, we're gonna do this tutorial about making loading screens. In particular, faking this kind of apple-like loading screen with the circles that go around in a circle, going from light to dark. Now, it's pretty simple to do, and it actually only takes one layer if you use things like the repeater. So I'm gonna show you some tricks to get this to work and to get it to look correct and uh, use some expressions to work on the math. Okay, so here in After Effects, you can see I've created just one layer to do this look. Now, I'm gonna start from scratch so you can see what I'm doing, but uh, what we're gonna be creating is one circle that goes around and that changes from being totally transparent to totally opaque and uh, pretends to load things. So the first thing we want to do is make a new composition. All right, we're going to go with the HDTV 29.97 preset and I'm going to go with uh, 30 seconds duration. We're going to make a new shape layer, so new shape layer. And on this shape layer, we are going to add an ellipse and then we're going to add a fill we're going to take that fill and we're going to make it totally white. Okay. Now on that ellipse, it's already 100, 100. So that size is perfect for us. And the position, we're going to put it up here at negative 250. It's a good spot. Now we're also going to add to this a repeater. And the repeater will basically create multiple copies and it'll change each copy by the transform of that repeater. So instead of a position of 100 being the change, we're gonna have the rotation change by 360 divided by 12, which means 30 degrees. Now this, when we go up to 12 copies, is going to create a perfect ring, okay? So that is all good. But the next thing we wanna do is keyframe the number of copies. So the number of copies starts at zero, all right? And then we go ahead one, two, 30, 30 frames, and then it's up to 12. Okay, cool, so that looks that looks pretty substantial, so it's coming up like that. You can see how they fade on one at a time. That's not really the look we're after. We don't want them to fade on one at a time. We want this one to be the brightest and this one to be the dimmest. So that's why we would like to have our starting opacity down to zero, all right? So that means that the start of this thing is at zero and the ending opacity here is at 100%. So once we hit this point, we then need to have the offset do some stuff. So the offset's gonna start here. We go ahead 30 frames and we offset it by 12. So that means that in the interim, it is spinning around like that, all right? And then we go ahead one, two, three more, and instead of 12, we're at 24. And then one, two, three more, and we're not 24, we're at 36. And then one, two, three, you know, more frames here and then we are at 48, okay? So you get the idea that it's coming on and then it's rotating around. What we need to do is put a stop to these sort of mid-range things where things are at 7.2 or the offset is, you know, 4.4. Those are not in keeping with the look that we wanna have. So we have to put an expression on this to control those keyframes. That expression is gonna be math.round and then a couple of rounded brackets, and in those rounded brackets, just pick whip to the value that we're looking at, okay? What that does is it rounds any value that's gonna come up in the keyframes, and that means there'll be no more of these decimal point things, all right? Now we're gonna copy this and paste it into the expression of the copies, all right? And just make sure that instead of dot offset, it's dot copies, all right? so that it will do the exact same thing. So when it comes on, it's not doing any of those point whatever whatever things that we didn't want. It's keeping it nice and solid. And that, in effect, creates what we're after. So it's nice, it's digital, and when you render it out, you can see that in the speed that it goes, it looks very much like the loading screen looks. Now, for our purposes, this is more practical because it's only one layer, which means we have fewer things to worry about. It's very few keyframes, and it's very simple to make this last longer or shorter. We just continue this pattern of going ahead and then increasing this by plus 12, right? So each time it goes up by 12, gives you another few seconds of it rotating around. 
And then to finish this thing off, you really just have to go and take the copies down to zero, if that's what you want to do to end this thing. Certainly you are well within your rights to do so, but make sure that the copies are still going at a standard clip, so plus 12 to that, so that the rotation doesn't uh, start to go backwards. You know, you want it to you want it to end and sort of stop here as opposed to uh, counting backwards, just to make sense. Now, the other thing that's good about this technique is what if you decide, I don't like ellipses anymore, all right? I want to add a rectangle to this, all right? I want to get rid of that ellipse. I want to only look at the rectangle, and I want that rectangle to be, you know, sort of a, a taller, thinner type of number. So 25 by, uh, I don't know, 250 kind of thing. And then we just uh, offset it like this. And now we have something that is much more in line with, say, the uh, flash loading, right? This is how I believe flash makes their loader look, something like this. But you can make these shapes anything you'd like, and you can always come back and change them pretty quickly. So this is a great way to put in this fake loading, which I think is also similar to the YouTube loading. So if you want to fake like your YouTube videos are stopping and getting stuck and play a prank on the audience like that, then you are more than welcome to do so. And uh, this is how you do it. So this has been Evan Ames for Premium Beat, showing you how to use some simple expressions to make one layer into a loading screen that you can use to fake out the Apple loading screen or YouTube loading screens or all kinds of loading screens. If you've enjoyed this, then check out the other tutorials on premiumbeat.com. You can see tutorials on After Effects and other applications from myself and other industry experts. As well, uh, check out my stuff uh, at evanabrams.com or my YouTube channel, EC Abrams, or you can get me on Twitter at EC Abrams. And of course, stop by premiumbeat.com for all of your royalty-free music and sound effects needs. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial and you subscribe to Premium Beats channels to get more of these. And uh, if you do, then I'll see you around the internet. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.